everyone, Celestia here. How's everybody doing today? Well, I have another uh, interesting art project to do with you today. As you can see, I have a rectangular canvas that I have painted black. It's completely painted black, both inside and out. This, These little few white spots are not going to matter because that's the underside. What I'm going to do with you today and show you today is called stenciling. Now, I cut out the stencil in the shape of a pineapple. There's the bottom of the pineapple. It's uh, stylized, you know, it's not uh, perfect in any way, shape or form. And here are the leaves. As you can see, I had to make some corrections in the process of doing this. And I'm going to be taping these down. I wanted to, there, I wanted to make sure that the uh, scotch tape was not going to affect the canvas. So I'm going to go ahead, get this centered, and then I'm going to try my best not to cover up the lines. I just want the scotch tape on here just along the edges just to keep it stationary while I'm working on it. There we go. And here as well. leaves on first before I do the top. So. Just overlap just a little tiny bit. Like that. Tape that little guy down. Ooh, it's kind of crooked, isn't it? Hmm. Well, that's not good. Can't have it overly crooked here. I think that looks a little bit better. There we go. That looks better. And I'll just do this over here. And then I think just two more pieces up the side of the leaves. Being careful not to cover oops. Being careful not to cover up any of the cutout part. around so that you can have a better look at it. There it is. Okay. Now, I've already pre-mixed my paint. In this container, as you can see, there is yellow, but there is also spun gold. I wanted to add just a little bling bling to the paint. And then I also have some green. And it doesn't matter if the green comes out in swirls or not. It actually would look quite cool. So in here with the spun gold is some lemon yellow. And I used all of it. And some sap green, which I used all of that. And uh, some, what is this called? Veridin green. I didn't use all of it, so that's good. I can use it for another project. And then this is another acrylic paint, and it is called Heritage Green. And I put just a little tiny bit of gold in there as well. Now how I'm going to do this is very simple. I'm going to do it with these cubed sponges. So what I'm going to do is... I'm 
just taking this, turning it upside down onto the lid, carefully opening it, perhaps open it away from the picture. There we go. And now, all you do, this is serious, this is, this is really all that you do, is you take your sponge, like so, and you get some color on it, and then you just go like this. And it doesn't matter if you go over, because you can always cover it up with the black again. Now, stenciling has been around for a very, very long time, longer than probably any of us who are alive today. Stenciling was used to stencil onto furniture. It was used to stencil onto wallpaper. And so it has been around for a very, very long time, as I said. And again, it doesn't matter if it goes up into where the green is going to be because it's going to be covered. Now, as you can see, that doesn't look overly covered because you can still see the black through it, which is actually okay, if I'm honest. But I am going to go over it again. Just to make it a little darker. And like I said, it doesn't matter if it gets on the black because it can be just covered up with the paint. And it also doesn't matter if it gets up into the green, which it actually wouldn't matter if we did put a little uh, yellow up into here. It probably won't even show underneath, underneath the green. You do not remove your stencil design until everything is completely dry. So I'm going to add one more coat and then I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to do the green. at all. And the thing that's nice about these little containers, these are just like little sauce containers that you can buy at the dollar store. Uh, I also got the sponges at the dollar store, so I don't care how many of those I use. I think that looks pretty darn good. I think everything is coated nicely. And as I said, I can always uh, fix any that I think uh, don't look very nice or that have gone out onto the black. I can always uh, fix those. Okay, now this sponge is no good for anything anymore, so it goes into my garbage, which I have sitting beside me always. And I'm going to be able to use this paint again because it has a lid and the paint inside will not dry. So we're going to do the same thing I'm just going to use these, with the green. I'm just going to turn this around. So you're going to actually get a nice look there at the bottom. You can see it's, it's covered nicely. And again, open up the... Ooh, open up the top of the green which I have made quite a mess of. My goodness. Now you can see there's a little bit of swirling of the colors, and that's okay. I think that's going to look quite nice, actually. 
So I'm going to clean off the top of the lid with the sponge like that. And then I'm going to start You have to be careful when you get down here where the leaves are attached to the actual fruit part because you don't want um, to get the green in there necessarily. Now for some reason this seems to be a little thicker and seems to be covering a little bit better. Hmm. Well, isn't that interesting? It's the same type of paint. Maybe I'm just using it a little thicker. I don't know. And if you're careful, it won't go underneath the stencil. But if it does, you can, again, you can always just use your black paint to touch it up. That seems to look pretty good. It only looks like it's going to need one coat. Wow, that's pretty good. It's kind of thick in there. You might want to dab that off a little. Black showing through there. A little black showing through there. Okay. So again, this sponge is uh, going by the wayside because it is uh, not good for anything anymore. I did drip on my table, but that's okay. It just comes right off. And of course, whenever I'm painting, I always manage to get it all over my hands. <laughs> but that just proves that I was actually painting, <laughs> in my opinion. Okay, now normally I don't do this, okay? I want you to know this. Normally, I do not do this. But, I am a little pressed for time and I want you guys to see the finished product. So, I am going to take the tape off carefully. I might be able to just lift it up. There. Oh, I need a napkin. Why is it whenever I need something, they're oh it's always so far away from me? My goodness. Sorry about that, guys. Rant there. So I'm gonna put some napkins down and put the stencils down on the napkins. And ah, careful. There we go. Wow, it turned out really, really well. I'm very, very happy with it. Yes, this scotch tape doesn't want to come up, but that's okay. Just put my exacto knife underneath. And lift it off. Okay, now as you can see, there are some runs underneath here and here, but that's okay, it can be fixed. I'm going to put these paints over here and I'm going to get out my black. I'm probably just going to touch up these for right now. I probably won't even worry about those until after that green is a lot more dry. So, unless of course I can get it off with a Q-tip. And again, of course, where are the Q-tips? Out of my reach. Turn this just sideways a little bit. Oops, back the knife goes away. It doesn't cause any injuries to anyone, especially me. And just gonna fill these in a little tiny bit. 
And you see, if I don't like it, I can always go back in. But I, I think it looks fantastic. I really do. So I have a small paintbrush here and my black acrylic paint. I knew I was going to need this. <laughs> I didn't know it at the time, but something inside me said, you better get out a Pringles lid for your black. And I'm only going to need a little teeny, teeny, tiny bit, just a drop or so. I'm probably not going to need any more than that. I'm just going to turn this sideways. Alrighty. Now I can just go over this lightly. with the black. Making sure to blend it all out. Oh, I've got a little something something in there. I don't know what that is. And I noticed that I missed some over there. So again, just Going over the yellow with my paintbrush, spreading it out nicely. And it will probably show a little bit darker once it's dry, but that's not really a huge issue. I mean, if somebody is going to look at this that closely, and they're going to say, oh, wow, why is it a little darker right there? Well, good for you. <gasps> you found a flaw. Fly in the ointment, as they used to say. So, if you want to look at it that closely, guys, then you know what? They can go right ahead. off when the sponge was working. And I'm hoping that oops, there's a lot on there. I'm hoping Now, as I said, if you weren't happy with the fact that those have a few bumps in them, you can always go over it with your black paint to make it perfect. I think it's just fine. I just wanted to get those little globules that had come off. They probably came underneath the stencil a little bit. And there you go. When that black paint is dry, you will never know. Oops, a little bit of green here. Probably from my hand. Uh, you will never know, or hopefully you'll never know, that there was even any yellow or green. Do you want to try and smooth this out a little better? There we go. Okay, guys. Quick, easy, and efficient. So, if you want to do this particular kind of artwork, I use oops, I use Bristol board to make the stencils. Now, once it's dry, it's going to be quite hard because acrylic paint is just that. It's acrylic. So, um, I'm going to take the tape off carefully so I don't rip. 
So there is the stencil after it's been used. You can see the air bubbles in it from the sponge. If I had used a stenciling brush, that would not be there. Uh, it would be very smooth and it would be very, um, very good. Um, I didn't care about that overly. Um, I actually like that look. It uh, gives a little dimension. As you can see, the paint here start to stick to the napkin. But again, that's not a big deal. Carefully take off the tape. And hopefully I will be able to use this again. I would like to be able to do this pattern on a cloth bag or something, a tote bag, uh, something like that, because uh, you don't necessarily need fabric paint. Uh, acrylic paint sticks to fabric very well and it doesn't come off. So I'm going to give you that warning um, out there, guys. If you get acrylic paint on your clothing, it will not, and I repeat, will not come off. If you find you do have an issue with acrylic paint on your clothing, try and get it off right away, because if not, it's going to be a permanent thing. I noticed there was some white up here in the corner. That I didn't happen to catch. So there you go, guys. Simple, to the point, pineapple stencil, an original work of art. <laughs> an original artwork, not a work of art. An original artwork by Celestia. And I really hope that you uh, enjoyed this. I know that I have wonderful regular viewers and wonderful subscribers. Uh, even though uh, I seem to keep losing some, I, I don't know why that's happening, but irregardless. And I think probably once it's dry, I might just do a little tiny yellow in there. I think it needs it. So, anyways guys, there it is. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you would like to see more original work, artworks, um, I have many more uh, in store for you. I have some watercolor paintings that I'm going to be doing. Uh, sort of similar to this, but not exactly. Uh, they will have backgrounds and then uh, some shadows. Uh, I like to call I like to call them silhouette paintings. So uh, those you can look forward to in the near future. Um, until we meet each other next time, guys. Love ya. Mwah.